but they keep coming back. Point. Ah! God damn it, it just bit me. And mouse bites can be deadly. Hopefully I don't get rabies. Hey everyone, I'm uh, feeling really sick actually at the moment. In the winter of 2020, Root Dull Soul faced down the barrel of destruction. In addition, the entire world plunged into a collective fog, halting our journey. Despite the chaos these events have brought, with our technology partners, some power and gold energy, we're ensuring that these difficulties turn into opportunities to be a better and more united solar community. We're proud to bring you this latest series from the specialist workshops of RRS Race Prep. Together, we're going to demonstrate our commitment to seeing a better tomorrow by engineering solutions to the problems of the past and pushing the limits of what is possible. Welcome to Root Del Sol 2.0. I'm back to the drawing board with this table. I painted it all and then I thought, you know what, this system sucks. I don't like it. I'm going to change it. If there's one thing about living in a van and building a van in the past, I know that if it sucks when you're building it, it's going to suck even more when you're on the road and you're really not gonna to wanna to fix it when you're out on the road, so you may as well fix it now when you're in a workshop full of tools. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this pole system thing that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna make it more simple, a single pole, and just a table that lowers and raises. And then what I'm gonna do is the bench that goes here where I'm sitting currently is going to have the part that extends out and becomes the bed. So the table's gonna stay simple and this bench is gonna be the part that extends out Think that's going to make that a whole lot easier anyway i'm going to shut up now and i'm going to get to work because i got sh stuff to do almost swore hear that youtube don't demonetize me oh, i didn't swear <laughs> This is the table. It just sits in there perfectly. So this is kind of how it's set up. I just cut a new straight pipe to go onto this post here. And it does so like that. The only problem is it's a little bit wobbly. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna weld a couple of seams straight up and down here. I'm gonna weld four seams. I'm gonna grind them down until they're perfectly fit, and then hopefully we won't have any wobbles. So let's see that happening on the time lapse. I don't know what happened with my camera, but all of a sudden the time lapse ended. Um, anyway, what I've done is I've welded this in place and now I'm going to go and try and fit it in the van and see what happens because I've just finished welding it in place. So it's nice and clean and ready to go. As you can see, the table is in bed position. And when I lift it up, position, oh my god, I've got to fix that, I guess, some oil. I think this is about as high as the table will go. And I can't lock it in place, but that's, that's, that's table height right there. It's a really small table, but it's going to have to do the job. <laughs> got to put a few bolty things in, nice table on top of there. Probably fiberglass and resin it, make it look really nice. And then, boom, it should be ready to go. All right, so I just got home again. And guess what I found? Another little freaking mouse. I keep catching these little bastards and I'm trying to get rid of them, but they keep coming back. They're gonna get the point. Ah! Damn it, it just bit me. I know it's just a little bite, but it's a mouse bite, and mouse bites can be deadly. I'm gonna wash it and keep an eye on it. Hopefully I don't get rabies. I'm gonna take it outside so that it doesn't bite me again and so it safely gets released into the wild. We're gonna put him on 
that side of the fence. And away, away he goes. Hector decided that it would be a good idea for me to drive. So we got a bunch of fucking metal from the metal store. Metal! <laughs> and the metal and the doors are wired shut. I have a feeling that they, the metal's gonna you fall. You know why we, we can do that? Why? I mean, why the doors are open and we have. Because it's Mexico. Because we can. <laughs> That's why. It's Mexico and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, where were we? Now, in saying that, what have we got left to do on the van, Hector? Well, we gotta go pick up some acne bolts for the actuator and finish fabricating the telescopic rails. Yeah, what else? Um, we gotta relocate all the electrical panels, all the elect I mean, all the controls and the the charge controllers and all the wiring and everything to the rear of the van. Uh-huh. Um, get some standardized 17-inch tires. Uh-huh. And then do a lot of body work and make it look nice. And we have two weeks? Yeah. You think we can get all that done It'll in two be better. weeks? better. So anyway, basically I just wanted to update for everyone. It seems like we're right in the thick of the project. A bunch of stuff happening. So... <clears throat> Did yeah. You say shit on your videos? Try not to. All right, we just went in to check out Acme bolts. We they didn't have them in our size, so we have to wait to see what they can get for us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., which is an unforeseen thing, which happens on projects like this. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm uh, feeling really sick actually at the moment. I have some chronic fever, muscle spasms and very dizzy and sort of very tired. I'm wondering if I have food poisoning. That was my first thought. I'm really, it sounds funny, but hoping that it's that. Um, but my other thought is that I got bitten by a mouse on Sunday night. It's probably not anything serious but it could be a vector borne disease inside of that so i don't want to sound any alarms but i just wanted to um let everybody know what's happening and I'm gonna try and get well here and healthy fingers crossed it's not anything serious hey everyone quick update i am in today two of this this flu fever that i've had i've stayed in bed all day and I just got Hector to bring me around some um, paracetamol and ibuprofen just for the pain. <coughs> and some of these Solural. It's like hydrolyte rehydrating solution with all the, the sugars and sugars and salts. But yeah, still feeling pretty sick. I've got a pretty solid headache in the front of my head. So haven't been able to eat anything and just been in bed all day. I'll see how I wake up tomorrow and if I need to go to the doctor, I'll go to the doctor tomorrow. But yeah, I hope everyone's staying healthy and well. I am not healthy, nor am I well at the moment. And that, everybody, is a blood test. So it's day three and I just got those tests that I just showed you on the camera. Feeling much better, obviously. Um, I can talk more clearly and I have a little bit of Sprite to myself. I decided that it would be a good idea to go and get some blood tests and a COVID test just to be responsible and make sure that if whatever I had is contagious that I'm not spreading it around. Good thing is, is that it's not rabies. That was a wild and crazy assumption, but you can never be too careful. I guess when you get bitten by a wild animal even if it's as small as a mouse you got to be careful because those things can carry some diseases with them so yeah just worried about that for a minute but it's okay it wasn't that still feel you know not great that's where i'm at let's stand by and see if tomorrow i am covid positive or negative
Good thing is, is that I'm feeling better. That's the most important thing. So I just got back from COVID testing. I got my test slip here in 48 to 70, 72 hours. In two to three days, I should have my results. And I get them by logging in online using my user code and password. Anyway, I didn't film at all. I'm sorry I didn't take the camera with me. It's so stressful out there on the streets being a foreigner in Mexico. You either get a lot of attention, people trying to sell you stuff, or you just don't understand what the fuck is going on half the time. And having a camera in your face is the next worst thing to, uh, to all of that stress. While I'm COVIDing, because I'm COVIDing right now, while I wait for my test results to see whether I'm positive or negative for COVID, I want to show you something really kind thing that happens to me because I'm not allowed to leave through those doors much. I guess I can walk outside and get some sun and stuff like that. But really, I'm not really allowed to socialize or hang out with people until I know whether I'm positive or negative. Till then, I'm stuck in this small, little, but beautiful and quaint apartment. But have a look what happens while I'm in this situation right now. My neighbors come and drop me fresh food for dinner because they know that it's pretty hard to go and find my own food. So how nice is that? All right, everybody, just got my results back for my COVID test and guess what? I am COVID negativo, negative. So that means that whatever the fuck I had wasn't COVID, could have been food poisoning, could have been rat bite poison, could have been anything, but it wasn't COVID. So still safe, still not possessing the old COVID. So good stuff. As I was quietly dying for three days in my bed, I returned to the van to be pleasantly surprised that there was some action in my absence. Francisco, who was super camera shy, had managed to mount and almost finalize the roll bar and base system for the main solar array. As you can see, there are six sturdy hinge points that will surely withstand any windstorm that comes my direction. After weeks of zero movement, it was nice to see the project inching towards the goal of getting me back out on the road. Alright, this is the roof. Slowly shaping up. All the cross beams are in place. Yeah, that's where it's at. 